The astonishing discovery of exoplanet K218b The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, widely recognized as the most sophisticated and powerful observatory ever launched into space, continues to push the boundaries of human understanding. Built with cutting-edge infrared technology, its mission is nothing short of extraordinary to explore the fundamental mysteries of our own solar system and venture far beyond to study alien worlds orbiting stars light years away. At the same time, the telescope seeks to unlock the secrets of the universe's structure, formation, and evolution, helping us better comprehend our cosmic origins and the intricate role we play in this vast expanse. Recently, in a mission that has captured global attention, scientists directed the telescope toward a distant star system located approximately 120 light years from Earth, situated in the constellation Leo. The results were remarkable. The Webb telescope uncovered compelling evidence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of an exoplanet named K218b, a potential ocean world outside our solar system. This planet resides within the habitable zone of its parent star the sweet spot where temperatures might allow for the presence of liquid water, one of the fundamental ingredients for life. K218b belongs to a rare and intriguing class of exoplanets known as sub-Neptune's planets that fall in size between Earth and Neptune. Interestingly, this type of planet is not found in our solar system, which makes K218b especially valuable for comparative planetary science. With a mass estimated to be 8.6 times greater than Earth's and a radius about 2.6 times larger, it is believed to host a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and possibly a deep global ocean, making it an object of intense scientific scrutiny. The initial exploration of this exoplanet's atmosphere was conducted using the Hubble Space Telescope, which hinted at water vapor and a thick envelope of hydrogen gas. Building on those early insights, JWST has now provided a much clearer and more precise spectrum of the planet's atmosphere. Scientists have successfully detected the presence of methane, CH, and carbon dioxide, CO, vital carbon-based molecules that suggest a dynamic and chemically active environment. The presence of these gases indicates a potentially habitable chemical balance and hints at conditions that may support life. Even more intriguing is the potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound that, on Earth, is known to be produced solely by living organisms, specifically by phytoplankton in the ocean. While this finding is preliminary and requires further confirmation, its implications are profound. If DMS is truly present, it would be the first biosignature detected beyond Earth, signaling the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. A scientist from the University of Cambridge cautioned that although the data is encouraging, the mere presence of such compounds does not guarantee habitability. Given the planet's substantial size and gravity, it likely possesses a thick, high-pressure layer of ice similar to what we observe on Neptune. Beneath this, there may be a vast but inaccessible ocean, possibly too deep or chemically extreme to support life as we know it. The planet also has a thin outer layer of hydrogen-rich atmosphere, which plays a crucial role in trapping heat and shaping its climate. Despite these challenges, JWST has delivered the most detailed atmospheric analysis of a habitable zone exoplanet to date, a feat made possible by its exceptional infrared sensitivity. The discovery has opened new doors in the field of astrobiology, providing researchers with a rare opportunity to explore a planet that could represent a new category of potentially habitable worlds. Webb's deeper cosmic insights and the future of exoplanet research The James Webb Space Telescope is not just transforming how we study planets like K218b. It's also enabling us to peer far back in time to the early universe revealing surprising discoveries that challenge long-standing theories in cosmology and astrophysics. The method used to study these distant worlds is known as transit spectroscopy. When an exoplanet like K218b passes in front of its host star an event known as a transit a tiny portion of the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere. As this light travels through layers of gas, it carries spectral fingerprints subtle patterns that allow astronomers to determine the composition of the planet's atmosphere. This technique, used in tandem with JWST's instruments, allowed scientists to detect the molecular traces of methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly dimethyl sulfide. To further validate their findings, 
researchers are planning additional observations using JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which will provide deeper insight into the climatic conditions, temperatures, and pressure levels in K218b's atmosphere. These follow-up investigations will help determine whether the ocean on this exoplanet is suitable for supporting life or whether it is locked away beneath layers of ice and gas. But JWST's capabilities extend far beyond exoplanet atmospheres. In one of its most astonishing achievements, the telescope has detected complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy, dating back to a time when the universe was only 1.5 billion years old roughly 10% of its current age. These molecules, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, are typically found in substances like coal, petroleum, soot, and smog on Earth. Their detection in such an ancient galaxy indicates that chemical complexity emerged far earlier in the universe than previously thought possible. This ancient galaxy, named SPT041847, astonished scientists not only because of its molecular richness but also because it was already as massive as our Milky Way, with stars that had synthesized large amounts of carbon and oxygen. These are the essential building blocks of life, and their presence in such a young galaxy implies that the processes of star formation, chemical evolution, and molecular synthesis were already in full swing shortly after the Big Bang. The most remarkable aspect of this discovery is that Webb's unparalleled resolution and sensitivity allow scientists to not just detect the presence of these molecules but to map where they are located within the galaxy. This level of detail was impossible with previous telescopes. Interestingly, the distribution of these molecules is not uniform, and researchers are still working to understand what this means for the galaxy's history and structure. These observations force us to reconsider long-held assumptions about the pace and nature of chemical evolution in the early universe. If such complexity arose so early, could life have formed sooner than we believe? And if so, might there be other galaxies, perhaps even closer to the Big Bang, where conditions suitable for life existed? With each discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope reaffirms its role as a transformative force in science one that not only enhances our knowledge but also inspires entirely new questions about the nature of existence, the possibility of alien life, and the intricate web of cosmic history. As humanity boldly ventures deeper into the cosmos, armed with powerful tools and a relentless drive for discovery, we are reminded of just how vast, complex, and beautiful the universe truly is. Each new image, each spectral analysis, each faint light detected from distant stars, they all bring us one step closer to understanding where we come from and what might lie beyond. If you're fascinated by the wonders of space and the potential for life on other worlds, we invite you to stay connected. Subscribe to our channel for the latest scientific updates, like this video to support our work, share it with your fellow explorers, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new breakthrough. We'd love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below. The stars may be silent, but your curiosity keeps the conversation alive.